Welcome back. You know we get so excited about food here on Good Day, but especially when it benefits an organization or a cause. And today we are talking about the Greek Bake Sale. Kristen Eliopoulos is here from the Greek Orthodox Church in Lexington with all the details and of course a whole lot of goodies. Thanks for being here. This sale, it's actually underway right now. Right now, from 8 a.m. till 6 today and then tomorrow until we sell out. Wonderful. So it's a two-day event. Two-day event. And you guys have a huge spread. What did we bring out here just today? Um, today we have a traditional espanacopita, and you buy that frozen, you take it home and bake it. Ooh. Oh, and it's warm. It's warm. I made it this morning. <laughs> this is a Greek Easter bread, a sereki, okay. a little sweet. Um, this is a variety box with a sampler. Uh, there's two chocolate baklava, two regular, uh, a kataifi. Mm -hmm. Two kurumbiedas and two kurulaike, which are like a sugar cookie. Oh, and then I have a little bag that you can buy the sugar cookies like this packaged up for you in 12 in a bag. That's fantastic. What are the price ranges? Um, you know, there's a variety um, there. The spanakopita is 12 each. Okay. Um, we have other frozen items. There's a teropita, a cheese pie. There's a pastizo, which is like a Greek lasagna. Okay. And um, what we call um, kotopita, which is a mm -hmm. chicken and appetizer, chicken and cream cheese and phyllo, a savory. And we have two different sizes of breads and about 16 or 17 different cookies. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, now with the frozen food, is that easy preparation? Like It's Greek know, fast food. We made it. It has the instructions on it. You throw it in the oven and bake it at 350 till golden brown. Heat it up, good to go. Good I go. like that. What's your favorite item? I do like the spanakopita. Mm, yes. <laughs> I think we could eat all of it all day long. Yes. Um, but talk a little bit about the history of the Greek Orthodox Church. You guys have been around for a very long time in Lexington. Um, the church was started in 1944. Mm -hmm. Some of the original family members are still here. And they started doing the bake sale here in 1963. Wow. They've been doing a bake sale for 55 years. The ladies started it at Easter. And we have a mailing list and we send out flyers. And so it is a very large um, bake sale. Absolutely. And I'm sure a lot of preparation goes into making this happen, right? About three months. <laughs> three months. We make all the frozen stuff first. It goes wow. right in the freezer. And then uh, we were baking up to last night. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is a fundraiser for the church. So tell us where the money's going to be going. Now, we have a Christmas and an Easter bake sale. And at Easter, the ladies do it. And that's a ladies group called Philotos. Okay. It means friends of the poor in each Greek church. There's about 500 in the United States has one. Okay. Oh, yeah, help yourself. So we will give some of the money to the church, but some of it we give to charity. We give to uh, Children's Medical. We give to local charities here. We help our parishioners. So 40% will go to our church and 60% will go to charity. That's fantastic. I mean, the food's fantastic and you're helping such a great cause as well. Philotos is actually the second largest ladies women's nonprofit organization in the country. Is it really? The wow. Jewish ladies, the Hadassah, they are the largest. So our presence in Lexington is small, mm -hmm. but across the nation we do a lot. It's well known. All right. Well, we want to thank you for being here. And